Elixir of Life. Shall you have spent many months training to become a member of Arathia's Elite Forest Guard. For his final test, he is tasked to assemble an artifact known as the Elixir of Life. He must find the artifact's four components to keep it out of the hands of the Necromancers. Graduation Exercise. There's only three components. Defeat all Zhou enemies, win the scenario. <laughs> <laughs> Schmark. <laughs> However, if Zhou is defeated in combat, the scenario is lost. Your hero is limited to level 10, but Zhou and two other heroes will carry their experience, skills, and spells on to the next scenario. This area is a special training area and is the site for your final exam. Many have failed this test, one more have passed it. Good luck. I know, how could this happen? So, Stroll, well, the final fight to this is not going to be nearly as epic as it usually is. And by epic, I mean bullshit with morale, because we're playing on night difficulty, but here we go. The forest god is a rocking of eyes and ears. We go where we are needed most, and that is usually places difficult for traditional fighting forces to reach. We are shadows of the forest that see all and bring silent death with a single unseen bowshot. You have done well in your training, Jelyu. But now has come the time See? to take the final test. It shall you. A small valley near Gaia's crest will be the site of this trial. Clear the region of all the enemies to earn your place among the ranks of the forest god. Good luck. So, I'm noticing a lot of reaction uh, to me taking the Grand Elves instead of the Sharpshooters. It only gives you 10 Sharpshooters. It gives you 15 Grand Elves. On Impossible Difficulty, I take the Sharpshooters because I don't have enough time to level up, uh, to upgrade to get enough gold to upgrade the Grand Elves before I would actually take the fight against Red. <clears throat> that first fight for the Stronghold Town. Since it's not impossible difficulty, I have enough gold. That's the difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, you get to see some new strats playing the game the way it was intended to. Look at that! Congratulations, Cadet. You have but one test left to complete your training and join the illustrious ranks of the Forest Guard. You were to conquer this region of the valley near Gaia's Crest. This region is filled with monsters, several towns, and a few Forest Guard members posing as potential enemies. This is a well-traveled land, so navigation should be quite easy. To pass this trial, you must defeat everyone in the land by whatever means necessary. Good luck, Cadet. May the light shine down on you. By your command. Ready and willing, sir. What are your orders? To suck my dick. <laughs> so get the fuck out of my army. Those are my orders. Ah, it's not all. Yeah, easy mode. Indeed. That's how we're gonna finish all these today. But yeah, I'm staying true to it. We said we were gonna play them the way they were intended. And Sandra's campaign was obviously intended for you to play it on impossible difficulty. Why else would they give you the arties? Yeah, come on. You know I'm right. Also, I picks them. Long time no say. I see you there. Okay, I know they didn't touch that tent. Oh, which is good. But did they touch the other one? Oh, logistics! Also, what did they get in their main shield? Wait, it's scratching. We're good. Oh, come on!
<laughs> I should build it. <laughs> Truly new strats. We use bees. <laughs> but no. Uh, that'd be lame. I ain't gonna do it. I wonder, there's a box up there that I might be able to get. Or I might have if I was rushing. <clears throat> Which I'm obviously not. <laughs> In case anyone can tell. Pew! 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 Put them all down. Yeah. No need for pathfinding. Why do I want these mines? Because we're not playing on impossible difficulty, and building up mage guilds will actually be cool in this quest. This city looks like the perfect place for a base of operations. Take it and build it up quickly, but be wary. Your opponents might slip in and take it while you are away. Be sure to leave some troops and possibly a lieutenant behind to defend the city from attacks. Don't tell me what to do, game. Forest Guard Rangers must deal with a wide variety of unexpected and troublesome situations. There will come times when things will not go as planned or envisioned. This is one of those times. Several of your supply trains have been hit by raiders and their contents looted. Deal with the situation. Don't tell me what to do. What do I need offense for? Nothing, that's what. Hey, <laughs> we got Gretchen in the tavern. <laughs> Guys, never get involved in a land war in Arathia. Just trust me on that one. The dark and foreboding trail is ominously quiet. Suddenly, you hear the hissing of hundreds of snakes. Before you can even get a chance to turn back, more than two dozen Medusa slither out and attack. Who's back? Expert leadership, I get morale twice. The game without expert leadership, guess morale once.
There you go. Pyre, pyre, pants for hire. Oh. Twenty four hundred for twelve of them. It's a waste of a shot. I should have flipped the order there.
Oh! There we go. The game actually did something nice. Look at that. The world we live in. Oh, it can go up to four. Ooh. Well, in that case... Resurrect. That's enough. This army should be enough. If it's not, then Strobel will get the fight he wants. Against the lovely final AI. I know, we're playing Persona 4 Golden, after we finish this game. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, you're not getting the fight you want, Strobel. There aren't even any black dragons in there. <laughs> Just they didn't even know, they didn't even know their Arties! <laughs> Cutthroats. Stop a group of rogue Avli lords from selling the Ring of Vitality to a Death Knight Lord in Deja to win the scenario. However, if Zhou Yu is defeated in combat, the scenario is lost. Zhou Yu is limited to level 15, but will carry his experience, skills, and spells on to the next scenario. Rumor has it that the Ring of Health, one of the essential components of the Elixir of Life, is located in the Shantana region of southern Avli. Time is of the essence. For a death knight has been spotted talking to bandits who have long been terrorizing the area, and we believe that he has hired them to find the ring first. Oh, no. The Forest Guard has been assigned to recover several artifacts needed to, conco to concoct the elixir of Stannis. Were this powerful potion to fall into the hands of the necromancers of Deja, they would pervert its beneficent magic to their own twisted purposes. You, shall you? been selected to lead a raid into a region controlled by vicious thugs. It is believed they have the Ring of Vitality, or at least know where it is, and are planning to sell it to the necromancers. You must stop them and attain the ring for yourself. Do not fail us, for lives other than your own are on the line. Good luck. So another one where normally I would take the gold. But in this instance, there's just no reason to, so...
the same thing I thought about the rest of the show. It was fan fiction. <laughs> Ever since George left. Now you all see why George left. I say there's another one if memory serves. They usually join. Usually. The warlords in this region are cutthroats and madmen. They have been looting caravans, raising villages, and butchering garrisons with no thought given to the consequences to their homeland. They will foolishly sell the Ring of Vitality to the necromancers and betray their countrymen merely to fill their coffers with gold. These traitors should be given no quarter and show no mercy. Says who? Is there any more campaign that fits the description of Rush Mid than this campaign? Not off the top of my head, to be honest. So it's pretty on the nose for what this one is. Bandits have attacked your supply lines and taken valuable resources. Next level up is going to be fun! Your spies tell of a seer in the northeast who knows the location of the Ring of Vitality. Seek him out, learn the ring's location, and then retrieve it. Be wary, the necromancers are also looking for the ring. Gotcha! Are sharpshooters tier 5 or tier 6? I think they're... Tier three, aren't they? <laughs> Probably wrong about that, but I don't think they're either of the <laughs> the ones you said.
I'm gonna get ballistics just to be let down. Oh, strength wise? Yeah, I, I was gonna say, strength wise, they're up there. I mean, there's no denying that. <clears throat> Alright, I know the last guy's out here somewhere, we saw him running around. Our scouts report that one of the warlords has made contact with the necromancers and is planning a meeting very soon. Time is of the essence. Should that ring fall into the necromancers' hands, you will need to take it from them by force. Use whatever means are necessary to keep that ring safe. Remember that the best defense is a strong offense. Clear this region of the cutthroats inhabiting this region before they organize and steal the ring for themselves. However, only invade Deja if you absolutely must. I mean, I, we had to. Look at this. It's, it's, we absolutely had to. You all saw it. We were just defending ourselves. We feared for our lives. The seer in the northeast is an old wise man named Faridor. Seek his advice, but be warned he shall not give you the ring outright. He has said to issue a test to those who seek the ring. Perform whatever task he asks, for you must obtain that ring. <laughs> I don't know, man. When are we going to do all the campaigns again? As soon as I get town portal, I'm gonna stop building these up. Although, admittedly, if the game isn't going to give me a uh, theme, isn't gonna give me earth magic, it doesn't really matter. Why was Jellyu not a multiplayer? I wonder, dude. I wonder why. Why would a hero with sharpshooter specialty not be a multiplayer? These are the questions that keep me awake at night. Be warned, this region was the site of a glorious battle and is now holy ground. Do not desecrate it. Yeah, 
Yeah, I wonder what order the dwarves went in. How could I have ever figured that information out? It's just, it's, it's impossible. Getting a, getting a top tier jelly in this one. <laughs> Truly top tier. I can't make this way anyway. That was the only time we didn't upgrade. Last night your sleep was racked with terrible dreams, visions of the dark events to come. You were haunted by images of a cloaked figure sweeping a skeletal hand across a grassy plain, leaving behind a desolate land overrun by legions of undead monsters. Sinister laughter echoed throughout your mind and soul. You awoke, fearful and shaken, but still resolved to obtain the Ring of Vitality. I like how we did that first scenario so quickly, by the way. That we didn't get yelled at by the game for taking too long. <laughs> Truly an accomplishment. <laughs> Water magic it is. white heroes. Not enough racial diversity. Oof. <laughs> Oof. Expert ballistics. Always working. I mean, can't you tell? This is expert ballistics. How could you not? I don't think that would really affect my playing of the game at all, Ryan. Although if someone made a mod where that happened, yeah, that would be pretty fucking dumb. I, 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 I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> oh, I was about to say Resurrect of the Year, if that works. Although I did get them to shoot them again, so... Ah. Oops. <laughs> Before I can tell you where the ring is located, you must prove your worth to me by ringing me the Badge of Courage. Do not return without this artifact. You have proven your worthiness, for this I reveal the location of the Ring of Vitality to you. The man who has it lives in a small hut southwest of here. He has hidden the ring and will give it only to those who, whom I deem worthy of, a, worthy of it. I will alert him to your impending arrival. Take these angel wings to speed you on your way. When you arrive, he will give you what you seek.
completely unnecessary. Dark blue border guard, by the way. <laughs> like, in what world would I need that? <laughs> now that I have the angel wings. Alright, so now we just run around picking up all the stat buffs. That one's been visited. No one's been visited. I don't know how I've gone to this town again yet. I had not. Yay. Such arcane spells as Magic Mirror. How lucky. I probably got that tent, right? Alright, green tent. Yeah. Yeah, we didn't, but alright. <laughs> we got it one year. <laughs> In one of our playthroughs of this. Not this one, but one of them. Not only is Joe you dead, he was killed by 3 do Really makes you think. <laughs> no, I said I will continue when I get home. Tomorrow I'm busy. I don't even know if I'll be able to stream tomorrow. And they are confused. I don't know who that is. I mean, who could be anybody? Who did you watch play Heroes 3? Is how a normal person would phrase the question. Sit down. Sit down, you clowns. Alright, last chance. Here we go. My god, I know you can get it. I've gotten Tom Portal on this one before. Pretty sure. <laughs> My friend Falan has told me to expect the pale one called Jellyu. Are you he? Finally, it is you, Jellyu. Here is what I have for you. Do you accept? Yes. Hard scenario right there. Bandits infest this region. Wherever possible, unless the aid of the Thieves Guild is, they can be very informative. Yeah, that was for the last one. Valley of the Dragon Lords. This valley is land of the Dragon Lords. They must be defeated and the Ring of Life located to win the scenario. However, if Jellyu is defeated in combat, the scenario is lost. Jellyu is limited to level 20, but will carry his experience, skills, and spells on to the next scenario. Honestly, I usually take the dragon. I'm going to take the boots. Let's have some fun here. The dragon lords are not known for being all that reasonable, but perhaps you persuade them to part with the ring without any bloodshed. The ring of life, the second component of the elixir of life, is and he's just as confused as the rest of us. The there lives a group of powerful elven nobility who are the caretakers of several wards of gold and green dragons. These dragon lords have always been loyal to Avalyn, but we fear that one of these lords has been corrupted by the necromancers. 
If this treacherous dragon lord gets the ring before him, he will become an enemy too powerful for the forces of Avli to withstand. Yeah, I'm sure. Too powerful, man. Somewhere in the Valley of the Grand is the Ring of Life, the second component needed for the Elixir of Life. The ring is located in a valley where the Dragon Lords live. The Dragon Lords care for the green and gold dragons living throughout Avli. However, the one Dragon Lord in this region is corrupt and now conspiring against Avli. We believe he is in league with Deja, working with the Necromancers. He has discovered that the ring is here and intends to claim it for himself. You need to make certain he, that he does not do so. Obtain the ring for us so that we can re we can create the elixir of Stannis before the necromancers get their clutches on this powerful artifact. Oh, come on, really? I couldn't get elves. Fucking Genova. That's why I didn't take the dragon, by the way. I didn't know I could afford one. Ring of plus one HP will make him OP. Thirty nine. <laughs> Let's not fight them. We now know for certain that this Dragon Lord is working against Avli and her people. He is in league with Dark Powers, entity so twisted they would have you believe he is an upstanding member of the Avli nobility rather than a treacherous murder. The facade he shows to the world is that of a well respected Dragon Lord, while he allows the Necromancers to secretly harvest our people. Destroying him and his followers will be a great service to Avli, one for which they shall reward you handsomely and remember your name for generations to come. Yeah, man, fairy dragons. Just wait until we have to fight them as Crycock. Good times. That's where we learned you can still move even when the game blinds you. Some pretty sick shit. Really advanced tech, you know? Most people wouldn't realize. But we dared to be different. Isn't that when you need the anti magic? No, it's when you need to get good. Got him! Woo! You was got! Oh. I'm just gonna get the double hit. But no! Yeah, I gotta max out my stats so that Zhou Yu transfers to Unholy Alliance with them. Because he totally does. And that's not a lie. Or anything. Nah. Wasn't impressed. I thought it was pretty forced. Every day was not great at that joke's Juness.
I am level 10. Rumor has it the Ring of Lake is to be fa is too found near a lake made of pure flames. Papa oof! Papa oof 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 oof! Oof! Mr. Hack? Thank you. Thank you, Papa. <sighs> Goes right through them every time. I couldn't even get the kill. Come on, dude. What the fuck is this? <laughs> Oh my god! Stop it! Your work, Lord Falora, has been excellent for honing your skills. Not since the days and early training at the Forest Guard Academy have you seen so much action. Though you fear that dark times are on the horizon, you feel you are participating in a noble cause. The elixir of life will help heal many of Avli's ills. Yep. None of these are earth magic. matter.
remember. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> Why do they all have that? Um, I'm pretty sure follow age is just click on your name. They implemented that. The work Lord Falora. It's the work for Lord Falora. Hey, Mef. Welcome to the stream. I don't even remember what your name used to be. No, they're not mods. They're loyal viewers. Oh, it's Alfonso. Okay. Yeah, you've been here since May 13th, 2017. Paul and I is a good guy. June 6th, 2020? You got it, bud. Big balls on that guy. Ryan, you've been here since December 7th, 2019. <laughs> One of us. One of us. Fine with that. Wait, 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 that's fine, that's fine. I should save a dragon from that. Fucking prayer. Yeah, save the dragon. Yeah. Good job, man. Was a good attack. Really, really helped you out, you know. Yeah, like you can just click on your name in chat, and it tells you how long you've been here. Who's been here the longest? It's a hell of a question. <laughs> Not a, not a damn clue. Thirty-nine. The smell of smoke in the morning wind leads you to suspect that this lake of fire you seek is south of here. And your suspicions would be correct. Hey, <laughs> I've been here the longest. <laughs> Nah, it's not Dave. I know, and I never will get the donation link, I hope. No. He hasn't been here the longest. He doesn't even follow me. That's why we don't know who he is. 
I don't know, Ali. You've been here since June 14th, 2016. That's pretty far back. That's <laughs> 2016 was the original year I started streaming. Oh! Oh my god, we got him! Let's go! Of course, I get morale, so it didn't actually save me any, but... Look at that. Oh, and Town Portal. Now if only we could get the ability to fucking use Town Portal. Hey, sad panga. It was not the YouTube guy. Does Dave still play Heroes? Not competitively. You can thank the cucks for that. No, who does not follow me? Hell <laughs> of a sense of smell that show you guy has. Indeed. Ballistics, ladies and gentlemen, is not RNG! Hey man, yeah, we used to do the scenarios with viewers. Oh my god, another Ring of Vitality! It was that easy to find the whole time, Jelly? What are you doing? See, if we just play for more than 19 turns, oh, even more so. That'll, worth it. That'll be worth it, it'll pay itself off. That's the ultimate strat right there. I mean, it's not gonna give me Earth, so let's at least take something useful here. <laughs> like, truly the best of jellies. Dude, Myth and Legend was honestly the worst of the wall. Although. The one with the vampires, Kyle, was close, and the one that had the town you had to capture that the AI kept fucking snagging instantly was also, was also up there as far as worse ones. Like, there were some bad single scenarios. <laughs> like, ones that straight up just never got tested. Awesome. Even better. Even awesomer. Terrific. Keep them coming, dude. Thanks for coming along for the ride, sharpshooters. <laughs> you really, uh, you really helped in this one. <laughs> Couldn't have done it without you. Check that, it's just gonna make me sad. Oh shit, he went through the middle. To be over there. <laughs> yeah, I figured I had a bunch.
What was the all swamp map with tentacles? Gorlom's tentacle swampland. That one was just that one was just slow. It wasn't actually bad. Yeah, the vampires cow map was really terrible. It was right next to the AI. It legit was just us re-rolling it until the AI decided not to pick it up. Best one was the Heroes 2 scenario where there were just six or something heroes. <laughs> yeah, Pandemonium. That one was fucking crazy. <laughs> but that wasn't like that wasn't to the degree that these ones were. That one was just fucking crazy. <laughs> um, not typically, because I now live in live on my own. So when I go to eat, I actually take my time. <laughs> Take my time doing so. Good. And then I usually just come back afterwards. Dude, resource war! Resource war required me to save scum for the grail. But that's because whoever my ally was died, like, instantly. So I was pretty much just like, alright, well, <laughs> this is not how you were supposed to do this. Like, like, it was clearly supposed to be you teamed up with your ally and, like, shared resources with each other. But we couldn't do that because our ally died instantly. So it was like, alright, well. <laughs> yeah, I figured what I was playing. I felt bad for the guy. I was like, alright, this was not one we should have played with, with someone who was inexperienced with the game. Clearly. <laughs> it worked out. In the end, we won. Right. I was gonna laugh if the AI had some of those. Come on, dude. Fucking die already. <laughs> you know it's over. No. I like cooking. That's because he sucked. Honestly, though, just compared to the Heroes 2 single scenarios, the Heroes 3 ones really weren't that bad. Like, they were a couple, but for the most part, they were all doable. It was a fun little challenge to do every weekend. Like, we completed them in good time. But, like, bruh. The Heroes 2 ones were so bullshit. I think I actually got all the boosts. Oh, no, there you go. Okay, as I say that... I'm still owed one level up. Is it possible to still get it? Before we just GG.
That's probably it. There were more player made ones. But honestly, though, I, no, no, no. It's not because they were all player made. Because the player made ones were actually the most put together of them. <laughs> It was the non-player made ones that just weren't meant to be played on possible. It just sucked. <laughs> Where's the lake of fire? It's right there. We'll get back there. I'm busy right now. Yeah, I mean, I could beat the city with the dragons in it for EXP, but... Just more so hoping there was a tree. I think I do have to take a couple fights down there, though. Yeah, I gotta beat the fairy dragon fight. I knew there was at least one. See? Town portal's still good enough. It, no, there was just so much wrong with Hom too. Like it went beyond quick combat or replayable quick combat being in, in the game. Oh, come on. <laughs> what? <laughs> that one just chose not to go? Alright. <laughs> A thief in the night. Steal the vial of lifeblood from the vampire lord of Okaiol to create the elixir of Stannis and win the campaign. However, if Jellyu is defeated in combat, the scenario is lost. Jellyu is limited to level 25, but will carry his experience, skills, and spells on to the next campaign. The vampire lord of Okaiol has been using the vial of lifeblood to supplement his feedings. Take it, and he will be forced to suffer the indignation of feeding the old-fashioned way. Stealing it from him will cause him great harm and embarrassment. The final artifact needed to construct the Elixir of Life is in the undead hands of the vampire Lord Vakail. It is said the vial of lifeblood allows him to sustain himself without having to resort to more distasteful means of bloodletting. Although this artifact can be said to be preventing some evil where it is, our need for the vial is even more desperate. You <laughs> must find a way to steal the vial from this vampire. But keep in mind that not every task need be accomplished by direct means. Use your training wisely, and stay sharp. Yeah, Vokile, we're coming for you, bitch! Vokile main? More like Vokile gonna go down! Now the time has come to obtain the Elixir of Stannis' final component, the Vial of Lifeblood. For a long time, the Vial has been in the clutches of the Vampire Lord Vokile. He uses the Vial to supplement... Yeah, stay sharp! He uses the Vial to supplement... His need to feed on human blood. It is said he finds the old-fashioned way of feeding to be distasteful, boorish, and beneath one such as he. Stealing this artifact from him will accomplish two things. Complete the elixir and cause him great embarrassment and discomfort. It might even kill him, but I doubt we will be so lucky. Terrible. Wishing for his death. We're shame, shall you? Although I suppose if we're being fair, shall you didn't say that. The other guy did.
No, 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 let's not do this. Any dumb way. Here we go. We're gonna win this. Easy peasy. Well, Kyle's lemons will be squeezied. Sorrow, just like the rest of his skill tree here. It's an apt name. So if you didn't read the subtleties, you're not actually supposed to fight Red. Of course, we weren't supposed to go to Deja either, but we'll ignore that. For convenience's sake. But the way to do that, since I have Town Portal anyway, would be to go in... Grab the border guard you need, TP out, and then pretty much just rinse and repeat. Or actually, wouldn't even need to rinse and repeat. That would be the only reason to even go down here. And then you just <laughs> win the map. Well, Kyle is a powerful vampire lord and will, and will be well defended. Take great care when you invade Deja to seal the vial, for he will be wary of thieves such as you. Willy, though. I mean, Willy. Because I don't really think he is. I mean, I just took this town. It wasn't all that hard. I, I don't think he's ready for thieves such as me. Like, there, he's not even in his town. I don't think he was ready. <laughs> I'm just throwing it out there. That's perfect. <laughs> yeah, let's take the final anti-magic garrison. Easy. <laughs> yeah, sharpshooters are a nice, balanced, fair unit. And Jelu just represents all of that as a hero. Look at that, you didn't even get to retreat. Alright, easy map. Kappa, you don't actually get it. Game is rigged. Beware of the Thieves Guild, for they are treacherous and cunning. Make certain you have what they seek, and be sure to see the object you seek before you give them that which they desire. They defended none of these towns. <laughs> oh, wow. God damn. Undead and Gems campaign, Muscle Doge. Undead and Jelly Use campaign, Regular Doge. <laughs> it's, it's accurate. It's still funny. You have served me well thus far, shall you? I, Lord Floral, am pleased with your service, and shall report this to your superiors in the Forest Guard. This joint venture with Arathia has served us well, and may go, and perhaps will go a long way to heal the wounds suffered in the Timber Wars. I shall reward your loyalty to me with a small token of gold. Please accept this with my thankful gratitude for your endeavors to save Avli and protect her people. Sure, fam. If you say so. Unloyal. <laughs> I 
thought you were a real slick Rick out there. Ah, that is her. Thought I wouldn't see ya. Well, guess what? You're on cursed ground, Dumbo. So guess what I'm about to do? You're not cursed ground, you're on earth ground. So I'm just gonna resurrect them all! Hey, you fucking idiot! Congrats! You played yourself. Oh my god. The fucking die. Let's go. Oh my. Really? <laughs> Come on. He built a citadel. Suck AI. No talent. Rumor has it the sword of a titan can be found guarded by black dragons living in a valley to the southwest. That yeah, rumor has it, huh? It's a pretty strong rumor there. A passerby tells tales of a glimmering shield he saw once somewhere in the southeast. He would have taken the shield, but a red dragon chased him away. A likely story. Alright boys, let's go in. My domain to thief from us. Now we shall feast upon your char domains. <laughs> okay, it's time to actually win. Yeah. Yeah. That didn't work. Magic arrow, oh my god! Yeah, as if I would need that map. Uh, that tent. I can just go this way. Thieves! Awaken my children, for lunch is served! Is it though? Is lunch served, AI? Whatever, it's over. Uh. 
Once you have the Vial of Lifeblood, combine it with the Ring of Life and the Ring of Vitality to create the Elixir of Stannis. You must have all three to form the Elixir, and all three must remain together to keep the Elixir stable. The process is simple. Place the rings inside the vial, and thrice chant the words in the scroll you were given. Once you complete the third chant, the Elixir will come into being. Then bring it to me immediately. Don't tell me what to do. Easy one. <laughs> hey! Over here! We hear you are looking for a vial owned by a particular vampire lord. We of the Thieves Guild are looking for a few things ourselves. You do us a favor, and we do, want, do you one in return. If you bring us the Titan's Gladius and the Sentinel Shield, we can acquire said vial from this particular vampire lord's home. Do we have a deal? I thought so. Alright, now we're talking merchandise. So, we had a deal. Hand over the Sentinel Shield and Titan's Gladius, and my friend here will give you the vial of life, but see? Do we have a deal, see? We do, see? Easy campaign. I've completed construction of the Elixir of Life and saved Avli from the threat of the Necromancers of Deja, earning myself an honorable position within the Forest Guard. I look forward to my service faithfully protecting this beautiful land I love so much. Number 9, King Stannis, Elixir of Life, 1160, Sigur, Basilisk Greeting. 